pet overpopulation is a serious issue from people just abandoning their animals to not spaying or neutering. We are joined by Jeff Dorson from the Humane Society of Louisiana to talk about this ongoing problem. Good morning, Jeff. Shelby, thanks for having me on your show again. Well, thank you so much for being here. I mean, pet overpopulation really is a problem. And like I just said, it comes from a number of different sources. It's not just one thing that's causing this. No, different, different factors all culminating in a big crisis for the state. People don't realize that a lot of our rural shelter, uh, parishes don't have any public shelters. Some don't even have veterinary clinics, so they can't get their animal fixed. And with inflation, it's higher now on their income and their budget, so they don't sure. get their animals fixed. With no place to surrender their pets, or when they find a stray, there's no place to, to put them. So as you saw from those disturbing pictures, a lot of them are abandoning them on the side of the road, in wood, by bayous, and it's a very, very difficult situation for to try and rescue them. And who can keep them all? And the expense of now keeping starving puppies is very expensive. Yeah, and we, you know, we talked to so many amazing um, organizations in our community, including the LASBCA, about their, um, you know, their work to try and do the most that they can. But they can't do everything. How can people help? Well, they need to contact our state government. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not. All these parishes, Tensaw, Union, Evangeline, Avoyles, Catahoula, Concordia, they all need more support and resources. I mean, that's a long list. And so when the governor and the government gets involved at the state level, there's a trickle down. Sure. So we need resources, guidance, and support. Amazing. Uh, we definitely need more support. Uh, as far as the spaying and neutering, are there resources, you know, if maybe you live in a parish or you know somebody who does, are there resources where people can get this done? We wish, but really that's not all the case. A lot of these rural veterinarians, because they have a low volume, charge more. So it's not unusual for people to be facing with a three to $400 fee for one spay or neuter. So there's a lot of work to be done. We're having a meeting at the state governor's office in a few weeks, and we're gonna outline all the issues and some solutions. Okay, what are some of the solutions that y'all are gonna be talking about? Bring in national groups that can help us with their resources, identify the needs, ask the state government at the next legislative session to allocate money. Yeah, all of those things would certainly help. I mean, folks, as you mentioned, dealing with, um, you know, maybe inflation, maybe just groceries, uh, things like that. Maybe they didn't anticipate those expenses. Mm -hmm. Um, what would you suggest to people maybe before adopting an animal or um, if they are running into trouble feeding or, or helping that animal? Please reach out, go on their own social media channels, tell the, their friends and neighbors what the issues are, can they chip in, can they help, can they reach out to humane societies they may have extra, so it's all about networking. What we don't want them to do is what those pictures reveal, abandoning the animals. There's a better way to do it and we want to help that. I've seen so much crowdsourcing um, on Facebook and on social media. So I think you're right, Jeff. Like if, if you're having trouble uh, taking care of your animal, certainly don't abandon it. Um, reach out to your community and mm -hmm. see if maybe they have resources who can help or if maybe just a, a little GoFundMe to get, get what you need to get by or get through uh, this year taking care of them you until bet. you can get those resources. Yeah, ask your church, your civic associations, your chamber of commerce, there's, all, there's ways everybody can chip in. All right, Jeff, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Always a pleasure.